name was Vanessa. She was pretty, brown skin, and had long hair. On Mondays and Wednesdays, she takes the bus home from her job around 3 o'clock. Usually at this time, she's the only one at the bus stop. But on this day, her boss asked her to stay late. She finally got off at 5, and to her surprise, there was another person waiting at the bus stop. As she walked into the bus stop, the boy looked up from his phone and he smiled at her. Vanessa smiled back. He said, my name is Kevin, but people call me Kay. You from around here? Vanessa smiled and said, I'm from Elm Street, it's about five blocks down. Kevin asked for her number. She hesitated, but eventually gave it to him. Silly Kevin, he didn't know what he was getting himself into. The two started testing back and forth until they finally met up. They went on date after date and began to build a bond. The more they hung out, the more Kevin started to trust them more and more. You see, Kevin is an introvert, but he began to open up to Vanessa. He told her his old girl cheated on him and how his mother recently died from cancer. Vanessa started to sympathize with the situation. She asked how he could support himself given he was only 18. Kevin told her before his mother passed, she left money for him and his sister, enough that they could live off of for a few years. Vanessa gives him a kiss on the cheek. Kevin asks if she wants to come over tonight and have dinner with him and his sister. Vanessa smiles and said, I'd love to. Vanessa gets a text. She checks her phone. It says, get home now. Vanessa tells Kevin it was her mom and she's needed at home to help her out with a few things. And she'll come around seven. Where you been at? What do you mean? You know I work. Don't lie to me. My homeboy's been telling me they be seeing you around some dude. You cheating on me? N no, babe. I never do you like that, Michael. I took you out those hotels. I can put you right back. I was, I was doing it for us. I don't, I don't even like him. His mother just passed away and left him a settlement of, of 100K and I was getting it for us. See? I knew you weren't stupid. I've seen him tonight. Round seven. Okay. Just get him out the house. I'll do the rest. Just play along. Get him outside alone. Don't hurt him. He's been through a lot. Sure. No, definitely. Vanessa arrives at Kevin's house around 7.30. Kevin opens the door and greets Vanessa with a huge smile. He asks her if everything was alright. She says yes. Just had to take care of a few things for my mother. Kevin takes her to his room and tells her that his sister just went out to get the food. He grabs her by her arm and pulls her closer. Vanessa slides her hand down Kevin's arms to his hand. She figured she might as well give him a good time before she robs him for everything. Time passes and Kevin's sister comes home with the food. They all sit at the table and Kevin introduces Vanessa to his sister. He tells his sister that this is Vanessa. She might be the one. Vanessa blushes and slightly twirls her hair. But Kevin's sister intuition told her that something was wrong. Though her brother was happy, it had been the first time since their mother's passing, she couldn't ignore her gut feeling. I don't think she likes me that much. Nah, that's just how she is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, why don't we go see a movie later? I heard there was one showing in an hour. Yeah, you should go. 
I mean, I've been wanting to see that Denzel movie. Okay. Kevin's sister walks back and sits at the table. Kevin tells his sister that him and Vanessa are going out and not to wait up. His sister sighs and says, have fun. Vanessa and Kevin walk to the bus stop. Vanessa sends Michael a text letting him know that she's got him alone. Kevin pulls her close as they walk. He thinks he's finally found the one. He only wishes his mother could be here to meet her. As they get to the bus stop, a car pulls up. A man hops out with a ski mask and a gun. He points the gun at Kevin and Vanessa. As he gets closer to them, he smacks Kevin in the head with the gun. As Kevin falls to the ground, he sees Vanessa being taken and thrown into the car. As he falls and watches helplessly, his head hits the pavement, lights out. Exactly what I say, she won't get hurt. Get the money you want? 100,000. I don't have that type of money. Then I have no use for her to be alive. I'll get the money. Mm -hmm. Just don't hurt her. Mm. The bank closes in an hour. I'll have the money in half an hour. Then we'll meet then, first and third street. Come alone, bring anybody. And she dies. <laughs> Call the police. And she dies. Him. He doesn't deserve it. Sure. <coughs> Definitely. Michael, I'm serious. Promise me. I won't do anything to hurt your little boyfriend. As long as he just acts right. Get this off of me. Kevin waits in the alley with a bag of money. Nervously pacing back and forth. Michael shows up with Vanessa. He holds Vanessa and tells him to give him the money first. Kevin throws the bag of money over to Michael and Vanessa. Michael checks the money, then releases Vanessa. Kevin runs over to Vanessa, relieved to know that she was safe again. <coughs> Vanessa runs over to him. You see, Michael wasn't stupid. He knew there was something more going on between him and Vanessa. He couldn't take the chance of them talking again. Vanessa lays on Kevin crying, wishing she never did what she did. Michael throws Vanessa off Kevin. He stands over him, cocks the gun back and lights him up. Vanessa watches in pain as the bullets pierce through Kevin's body. Michael turns and looks at Vanessa. She looks up and sees Michael, looking at her with the death in his eyes. Michael and Vanessa have been dating for two years. Vanessa knew he wasn't perfect, but never saw this side of him. A cold-blooded killer. She never knew he was one. Michael slowly walks toward Vanessa with an expressionless face. Michael cocks the gun, and he gets closer to Vanessa. Michael tells Vanessa, sorry, it has to come to this. Vanessa says, what do you mean we can start a new life now? Michael said, we? No, baby girl, it's me. I just committed a murder. And witnesses is something I don't leave. Michael points the gun at Vanessa. She begs and pleads, but Michael doesn't budge. He puts the gun in her mouth and says, thanks for this lick, but this is your last stop.
What's your name? My name's Diamond. Diamond? That's a pretty name. Do you live around here? Thank you. And yeah, I just live about six blocks now. Okay. Yeah, what's your name? Michael, but you can call me Mike. Mm -hmm. I can't get your number. I'll take you out sometime. Uh, okay. You like food? Yeah. Okay, okay, I have to do some just now. I'm just on a mission. Captain Will here? Sure. Alright, okay, okay. I'm gonna call you. Mm -hmm. All right.